Today I'm playing around with an awesome synthesizer combo that I just can't put down. Free beat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and be sure to check out my upcoming free live stream concert, Freebeat Live, the next level. It's going to be right here on YouTube. If you're watching this video, then you can tune in and watch the concert. Dates and times in the description below. I hope you're excited. We're in the middle of rehearsals right now. It's going to be a blast. Hope to see you there. Today's patron shout-out goes to Kevin Lankner. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So prepping for the live show has me pretty stressed, and uh, one way I've found that I really like to relieve that stress is by sitting down at the end of the day and playing with these two synthesizers hooked up together, the Sonicware Liven XFM plugged into the Korg NTS-1 as an effects box. Now, I know I've used these two together on the channel before, but seriously, this combo is epic. Uh, let's go over the cabling real quick. This is power to the Liven XFM, just going to the wall. Uh, this right here, uh, at the back of the NTS-1 here, is a USB power going to the wall. This is audio out going from the Liven XFM into the audio in of the NTS-1. Then this is audio out of the NTS-1 going into my Zoom H5 right here, which is what's recording this audio, and that's because the main mixer is uh, set up at the show venue a.k.a. my friend Oliver's Garage. But uh, anyway, just uh, relax and enjoy some of these sounds because this pairing together is so nice. So as you can tell, I've got this kind of nice distorted sound here running through the bit crusher effect on the uh, Liven. Let's get some reverb going. Let's go straight to Cathedral. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> it sounds so good. Uh, of course, we can get some delay going too. Uh, I really like the just the standard ping pong delay on the NTS one. Yeah, awesome. Let's uh, find some new sounds to play with here. Um, I'm going to switch to just the library engine, which is just basically the synth browser. Um, let's go into the drum section. We haven't really played around too much in the drum section. So these are claps right now. <laughs> let's turn the delay off and let's turn the reverb off too. There's a nice snare. That's pretty cool. Get that delay back. Uh, not the right reverb for that. Let's just go basic hall.
Yeah, it sounds super cool with the bit crush on there. Nice. Ooh. A little bit of release and gate, uh, or uh, turn up the release, the release and gate nub. Uh, sorry. Go back to the uh, cathedral. There we go. Hard to see the screen sideways, uh, but most of my cables are at the show, so I have to deal with these little ones here. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I had a little bit of clipping on there, I think. So cool. Uh, let's pick a new effect here. Let's go to distortion on the snare drum. Ah, super harsh. I love it. But still so pretty at the same time, you know? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's pick a new bank here. Uh, we spent a long time on the snare drum there. Let's uh, go... How about just bass? Actually, what's after snare? Hi-hat, percussion, bell, and chord? Wow, I've never touched uh, these chord sounds. I'm going to have to look more into those. Rhythm? Not sure what this bank is, but I like this sound. I'm going to turn the filter on real quick here. Also, sorry, uh, whoops, I just want low pass. Sorry if that uh, clipped. I'm pretty sure it did. Turn up our resonance. Wow. Just amazing.
Wow. So, uh, yeah, I think the camera just died. Uh, whoops, that's how into the jam I was getting. Not the first time that's happened on the channel and probably won't be the last. I better wrap it up pretty quickly. Uh, this combination of synthesizers is incredible and I highly recommend it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you next time and hopefully at the live show coming up this weekend. Bye.